Anglerfish. The anglerfish lives in one of the darkest places on Earth, called the midnight zone of the ocean. This is usually 1,000 to 4,000 meters deep, far below where sunlight can reach. Food is very hard to find here, so the anglerfish uses a special trick. On top of its head is a small glowing light that works like a fishing lure. The light is made by tiny living bacteria that shine in the dark. When another fish swims close to the light, thinking it might be food, the anglerfish opens its large mouth and quickly pulls the prey inside. Its stretchy jaw and stomach let it swallow animals bigger than itself. Female anglerfish are the hunters, and they are much larger. Males are tiny and cannot live well on their own. When a male finds a female, he bites onto her body. Over time, his body changes. His skin, blood, and organs slowly connect to hers. His eyes and fins disappear because he doesn't need them anymore. In the end, he becomes a permanent part of her body, giving sperm whenever she needs to have babies. This helps them survive in a deep ocean where meeting another anglerfish is extremely rare. Goblin Shark The goblin shark is often called a living fossil because it has barely changed for 125 million years. It lives deep in the ocean, usually around 1,000 meters below the surface, but it has been seen much deeper. At these depths, the water is dark, cold, and food can be difficult to find. This shark has a long, flat nose that is packed with special sensors. These sensors can detect the tiny electric signals made by other animals' bodies. This helps the goblin shark find prey even when it cannot see. When it attacks, it has a surprising superpower. Its jaws shoot forward extremely fast, grabbing fish or squid in an instant. Its teeth are long, thin, and pointed like needles, perfect for holding slippery prey. The goblin shark's skin looks pale pink because its blood shows through its thin skin. It swims slowly and carefully to save energy in the deep sea. Even though its appearance looks scary, it rarely comes near humans and is not considered a danger to people. Giant Squid The giant squid is one of the largest invertebrates on Earth, meaning it has no bones. It can grow to 12 to 13 meters long, including its long feeding tentacles. These two special tentacles have sharp, ring-shaped suckers that help it catch prey like fish and other squid. In the deep sea, where light cannot reach, the giant squid has a huge advantage, very large eyes. Each eye can be as big as a dinner plate, helping it see even the smallest movement in the darkness. Giant squids live in the deep ocean, usually 500 to 1500 meters underwater. They are fast swimmers and can shoot water through their bodies to move quickly if they feel threatened. One of their main predators is the sperm whale. Scientists know this because sperm whales often have scars on their skin from battling giant squid tentacles. These creatures are rarely seen alive by humans, so there is still a lot we do not know about their behavior and life cycle. Most information comes from dead squid that wash up on beaches or are found in whale stomachs. Fangtooth fish. The fangtooth fish may only be about 15 centimeters long, but it has some of the largest teeth compared to body size of any fish in the ocean. Its two front fangs are so big that the fish has special pockets in the roof of its mouth to store them when it closes its jaws. These teeth help it grab strong, fast prey in the deep sea. Fangtooth fish live in extremely deep waters, usually 2,000 to 5,000 meters below the surface. In this part of the ocean, there is no sunlight and the pressure is very high. Because of this harsh environment, they have small eyes and rely more on touch and movement in the water to find food. Their dark, rough bodies help them blend into the deep sea shadows. Even though they look fierce, Fangtooth fish are actually prey for larger animals like tuna and sharks. They often move up to slightly shallower waters at night to hunt, then return to the deep during the day to stay safe. Their strong bodies and powerful bite make them well adapted to survival in one of the toughest places in the ocean. Vampire Squid The vampire squid has a spooky name, but it does not suck blood. Its name comes from its dark red skin and the cape-like webbing between its arms, which make it look like a tiny underwater vampire. It lives in the oxygen minimum zone of the ocean usually 600 to 900 meters deep. This zone has very little oxygen, where most animals cannot survive, but the vampire squid can because its blood carries oxygen extremely well. Unlike giant squids and other hunters, the vampire squid does not chase prey. Instead, it waits for drifting marine snow, tiny pieces of dead plants, animals, and poop to fall from above. It uses sticky threads to collect this food. When threatened, it pulls its arms over its body to hide its head, showing only the spiky tips. This makes it look too big and dangerous for many predators. The vampire squid also creates a blue-white glowing cloud of mucus to confuse attackers, giving it time to escape. With its slow movements and low energy needs, it survives perfectly in a part of the ocean where life is very difficult. Dumbo Octopus The Dumbo Octopus is a small, unusual octopus that lives in very deep waters, usually 3,000 to 4,000 meters below the surface. It gets its name from its ear-like fins that stick out from its head and look like Disney's Dumbo ears. 
These fins flap gently to help the octopus move through the water, giving it a graceful flying motion. Dumbo octopuses are soft-bodied and do not have ink sacs like shallow water octopuses. Since in the deep sea there are few places to hide, they feed on worms, crustaceans, and small mollusks, capturing prey by extending their arms and swallowing it whole. Their bodies are very flexible, allowing them to squeeze into small spaces in search of food. These octopuses are rarely seen by humans because of the extreme depths they inhabit. Their gentle movements, unusual shape, and deep sea adaptations make them one of the most fascinating and least studied cephalopods in the ocean. Barrel eye fish. Barrel eye fish is one of the most unusual animals in the deep ocean. It lives around 600 to 1,000 meters below the surface, where light is extremely faint. The most amazing feature of this fish is its transparent head. The top of the head is clear like glass, allowing us to see its large tube-shaped eyes inside. These eyes are built to point straight upward. This helps the fish watch for silhouettes of prey swimming above, while it stays hidden in the darkness below. When the barrel eye gets close to food, its eyes can rotate forward so it can see directly in front while grabbing the prey. Barrel eye fish move very slowly to save energy, they mostly eat jellyfish and small drifting animals. Their transparent heads also help protect their eyes from the stinging tentacles of jellyfish as they feed. This rare and mysterious fish shows how life in the deep sea can look completely different from anything we see near the surface. Gulper eel, also called the pelican eel, lives in the deep ocean at about 500 to 3,000 meters. It has a long, thin body and a huge mouth that can open extremely wide, much larger than its own head. This allows the gulper eel to swallow prey that is bigger than itself, which is very helpful in a place where food is hard to find. Instead of teeth for cutting, the gulper eel uses its elastic mouth and stomach to hold large meals. It often eats fish and squid that drift close by. At the end of its body it has a small glowing light, called a lure, which it uses to attract prey in the dark water. Gulper eels have small eyes, because there is almost no light at the depth where they live. They rely mostly on sensing movement in the water. This strange-looking animal is rarely seen by humans, and much of its behavior remains a mystery. Its ability to handle huge prey makes it perfectly adapted to survival in the deep sea.